Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My video today is gonna be a galaxy party prep themed video with some barbecue prep for my oldest son's birthday. The first thing we're gonna do is get started making his birthday cake. I picked up this super moist party rainbow chip cake because it's his favorite and I'm gonna be mostly following the directions on the back except a few minor substitutions. Um, I am going to be using butter instead of vegetable oil, the same amount, um, half a cup, one extra egg, and instead of water, I'm going to be using milk. This helps take the cake to a whole nother level. If you've never made these substitutions with a box cake, you should definitely try it out. And I'll be baking it in two eight inch round cake pans. I'm just gonna go ahead and get all of my ingredients in my KitchenAid mixer bowl. If you don't have a KitchenAid, you could easily whisk this together by hand or use an electric hand mixer. Uh, just use whatever you have available. Now I'm just going to evenly distribute my cake batter between the two eight inch round pans. I did grease both of these with a little bit of avocado spray oil and I have my oven preheating. Here's what my cakes look like fresh out of the oven. Make sure you cool your cakes completely before you try to take them out of the pan or they will stick and make sure they're not warm before you frost them or it will melt. The next thing I'm going to do is assemble a balloon garland to go over our hallway entryway. I have a more in-depth tutorial of how to do this on the party prep video I made for my daughter. It's a Target birthday party prep. I will link it down below if you'd like to see how the balloon garland works. But this is what it looks like all finished. I got the balloon and the streamer set sold together from Amazon. Our front window here, I just put a big number 13 set of balloons in the window for everybody to see and I hung some star garland. Both of these were purchased from Amazon. The next thing I'm going to do is make some homemade frosting. Uh, you're going to need a bag of powdered sugar to make this. You're also going to need a stick of butter, softened. I just popped mine in the microwave for about 30 seconds. You'll need some heavy whipping cream, um, just enough to get to the consistency that you desire. Uh, I didn't really measure how much I used. I just kept eyeballing it until it got to a consistency I liked and then about half a tablespoon of vanilla. The last thing you're gonna put in this frosting is just a bit of salt to offset that sweetness. You're gonna go ahead and mix this together. I do recommend either using a KitchenAid or a hand mixer for this because it's a lot of beating to get to the texture you need and though you could do it by hand, it would not be very convenient. I have my cakes out of their pans here and I did put a little bit of frosting in between both of the cakes so that they would stick together and now I'm just going around with some parchment paper underneath so that I don't make a mess and I can pull it out after I'm done decorating. Here's my frosting. I am going to dye some of this frosting black, the majority of it actually, but before I did this I took it out and I separated it into three different bowls to add gel food coloring. I use purple, orange, and yellow. I'm just putting on my crumb coat of my black frosting here. I'm gonna go around the whole cake with this and then I'll set it in the refrigerator. That way it can seal in all those crumbs and then I'll go back in and add more frosting on top after it's chilled and I will add those additional colors on top and blend them all together. You can see that my frosting here is a little bit runny. 
Um, I was having a problem with it melting because my house was so hot. Here is my finished cake, you guys. Um, I had some problems with filming the icing process for this because my house was hot. It's June when I'm recording this and it's the summertime and I was having problems with my frosting melting so I wasn't able to get a video like I'd wanted to but basically I just took some um, of my frosting that I made and I separated it into three different bowls and I colored it with orange, yellow, and purple food dye and then I went around and swirled the cake. I can link the tutorial I used from Pinterest down below. Both my sprinkles and the food dye are from Wilton and I purchased them off of Amazon. It's the next day here and now I'm just setting up some food prep for the barbecue. Uh, my son is turning 13 years old, he's 13 now. And on this day, we had a barbecue to celebrate instead of ordering pizza. We had a nice big cookout in the backyard with our friends and family. So I'm just setting up some condiments and things because I grilled burgers and hot dogs. This is the spread I have for toppings. Um, I wanted to show you what I had here, just some lettuce. I have onions here, circle for burgers and chopped for hot dogs, or you could put it on the burgers, whatever your preference is. Just some iceberg lettuce and your run of the mill toppings. But I wanted to show you guys these two things over here. They're my current favorites and they're new. One's the Trader Joe's Dill Pickle Mustard. This is so delicious, especially on hot dogs. And I'm absolutely loving this honey sriracha sauce from Heinz. Definitely pick it up and give it a try if you like sriracha sauce. I also have some baked beans going on the stove. Just two cans of bushes, nothing crazy. And my mom brought over some pasta salad. It's tricolor rotini with Italian dressing and green bell peppers. The next thing I'm gonna do is set up my main table in the kitchen. I got most of this from the Dollar Tree with the exception of this plastic table cover. I got that from Amazon and I have some chips and stuff to go on top. This is what it looks like set up. I'll pour the snacks in when it gets closer to company arriving and here is the star of the show, our galaxy cake. I have my 13 candles ready and my cake cutter and we are ready to get this party started. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it gave you some inspiration. If you're planning a galaxy birthday party of your own, please make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and like the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.